We are returning some materials to our favorite place, our second home. Today we were going to start our shuttle bus conversion and we ended up coming across this little guy on the side of the road and it looks like we have actually found the same people who are looking for him right now. So we're actually gonna go return him to his owners. We're just happy that we're able to start our day off this time successfully with a good deed. Uh, so now we're headed to Emily's house to go pick up the shuttle bus and take it to Home Depot to go pick up some of our supplies. two friends once again with us, Robert and Yvonne. We're gonna help with the conversion process, so let's go ahead and get started on that checklist. creating boxes for the wheel wells and today what do we have on our list that we are going to finish laying down the final part of our floor so we're gonna lay down the ribs and then insulate it and then lay down the top layer of plywood so then okay. hopefully we can stop looking at our subfloor and we've got our actual floor and I'm really excited because we're starting to actually put some things together it no longer looks like an empty shell of a bus Emily and I we actually had a small a small breakdown uh, yesterday in Home Depot <laughs> whenever we were getting our supplies. I think that that's one side note that we can share with a conversion is you have to have open communication with your partner and whoever you're building this with. Yes. But in life, we rely on each other a lot to help one another. If I don't know something, I get a little frustrated and then I get even more frustrated because he, like, I expect him to know it and even though he doesn't and vice versa probably. Especially since I said I wanted to buy a bus instead of build one was a key point to understanding <laughs> that I didn't know what I was doing. But <laughs> <clears throat> We had an interview yesterday which we're going to link that somewhere in this video. Their channel is called Sims Life 24-7 and they're just an amazing couple that is paying off their debt and they have really awesome videos on Fridays on Instagram. They call them Financial Freedom Friday videos and they actually post them on YouTube as well. It really is important just yeah. for you guys to understand that, you know, the finances end of this. Obviously, we all feel like we have to work to live, bring in some sort of income. You know, a lot of people save up money and then don't necessarily uh, invest or spend that how they want to. And it usually ends up getting thrown out the window. So we want to continue to live in the moment there is no guarantee tomorrow. You guys have seen what's been going on in the world and we just want to really show you guys that if you're able to live day by day, you're going to have a better experience with your own life 
And I also, I probably won't put this on there, but I have a tattoo on my back that says, today is a gift and tomorrow is not promised. It's for one of my friends that passed away. Uh, he was one of my roommates my freshman year in college and it really just left a big impression on me. A lot of people share a message whenever they travel or they build a YouTube channel and for us, I think we want to just show random acts of kindness to anybody that we come in contact with. You know, there's so much negativity out there in the world and for me personally, I just want to be a beacon of light. It's very intriguing being this vulnerable, you know, with social media, with having, you know, our life story out there, but I think that it's one that will be able to resonate with a lot of people and make a huge impact. I just wanted to express that you guys have been so kind, so polite to us. We have received so many incredible messages through this journey and the best is yet to come. You guys thought a shuttle bus conversion was cool. Wait until you see what we do when we're on the road. You guys get to know us, see what we actually do for work, see what we do whenever we talk to people and we go out and travel. I'm so excited. <laughs> Like Austin said earlier, he wanted to have somebody basically build the bus for us and I, I told him no, I wanted to do it ourselves and then a couple of weeks ago I was like, well maybe we should have gotten somebody to, to do this for us, but we, we can't go back now and I don't want to because this is no. a learning a learning journey for both of us. We've already learned so much and we're not even halfway done yet. And we're just happy to bring you guys along with the ride so that way you can see what our experience has been, and then make it your own whenever you enjoy this opportunity. Right now what we are doing is measuring and cutting out the insulation boards for the inside. We went with the 3 quarter inch insulation and we also did the 3 quarter inch uh, ribs for the bus. That way we didn't uh, have so much room on the underside of it. It gives us a little more actual uh, space inside of the bus so the uh, floor itself isn't sitting so high. Uh, even though we're not all that tall, every inch inside of the bus matters. my line. No, that's, no, <laughs> no, you're stressing me out. Are you no. being vacuum in my yard? Yeah. Uh-huh. How do you know that that's even straight? It's a straight line, but how do you know it's straight with the board? Just because the board is straight and the, this you, part of it is, you, hasn't been cut yet. Okay, so I was straight. gonna say, if you- Wait, why you already you just a pocket knife? What a guy. Oh, <laughs> <my God. laughs> Look at that. It's Stop perfectly it. straight. It's perfectly oh straight. God. No, let him just let him do it. And if it's not perfect, then you break you by. You break you by. <laughs> See? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, good morning. It's Hippie. Oh, under the weather. This is your first lesson. I'm disguised as a blessing. This morning, I'm here by myself working on the bus. Austin had to go do some advertisement shooting for his company, Five Strands. So that means that. I've got this whole place to myself and right now I'm about to start painting the walls. We're going to do a second coat of the same primer that we used previously. We just want to go ahead and put the extra layer of protection on it so that we don't get any mold, mildew, 
any water damage related stuff like that. Um, <laughs> this has been like a crazy journey just because when we bought the bus, it was right around when COVID was starting to happen and everyone was freaking out. And we actually had a trip planned because the flights were so cheap to Puerto Rico. And obviously that ended up getting canceled. So we didn't really know what to do. We are very active people and just to sit inside all day doesn't really suit us very well. So we ended up buying a bus in our spare time and we've just been fixing it up. It's been really cool and challenging. There, we've made a lot of mistakes, which we're gonna do a video about that probably once the build is finally complete. And so I definitely need to get started painting before Austin comes back because I've tried to redo this video like 12 times. So. This is the, uh, the I'm the trippy hippie in the samurai hat They call me Kimmy, my coach is racist like that I got a outlandish flow, but I stay in G-Co look who decided to show up today I thought I'd make my presence Oh yeah? Yeah Well, I'm gonna go get changed and I'll be back Okay Do you really have the time? Do you know where the wind blows? Well, the bases need to know when it's evident that we don't That's why all the photos they have say secrets and clothes Last weekend, whenever we were cutting, I had these safety goggles on whenever I was using the, uh, the saw and a little sliver of it popped up underneath my glasses somehow, caught me in the eye. I've now upgraded to the hot rod glasses that I'll be cutting with today. But as always, safety first. Truth needed a pin, so I had to compose the lines that might make you think and the ones they don't want you to know. No time for names, that's why they cut it to chase. I got a long reach, you might just want to shelter your face. Cause I come at you quick, like I'm Dwight with the mace. But I still pray for peace by the gift of God's grace. And I sidestep and jump and jive the lies. You all sit and abide, they'll say I'm out of my mind. Hold on, I just threw up some fluoride. I had a family girl, so I roll with a tie, said my goodbyes. Now I'm solo Tojo on my own ride. Uh. This is just an introduction, you know, a little something, some hippie Kimmy here for the first time to show the camera. Stay hydrated. <laughs> yes. I feel like I need like a hot wheel car with me. You need a mullet. Turn this off now. Thanks for following along on our journey with us as we become one step closer to full time boondockers. If you haven't already, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you in the next one.